This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. Our guest today is Bill Troy. Bill, welcome to the program. Hey, it's great to be here. Thanks. Tell us some. Tell us the good news, though, because we know that that we know that uh, be able to do the targeting and some of the things that are good about the new technology. Uh, how do how do we use them then and, and marry them into a, a marketing mix that makes sense with the digital side? Yeah. So I think that it really comes down to the life of your customer. What do they need? in order to feel comfortable buying from you. And that list is is different for every industry and everything that's sold. And it goes all the way from the simplest stuff. I mean, I only need a couple of things from Amazon for me to buy, you know, a book or a pair of shoes or whatever. Okay, I know the brand, I know the size. I don't need a lot of information and I don't need a lot of a relationship with them. And in your case, you probably have people who are looking for an agency that's professional and certainly it's local to them or has some expertise in what they need. So there, that's enough of a relationship. But when you start to get into things where a real deep relationship is necessary, let's just you know throw out there an example. Let's say you're selling, you're Boeing and you're selling 747s. I mean, you have to have years worth of relationship with those people. So the list is very different for every company. And so the more that's a personal human one-to-one relationship relationship where you have to treat that customer individually and maybe you have to develop rapport and trust with them well before they need what you buy what to, to buy what you sell if they're going to take a big risk you know if they're risking their career by switching ERP systems or you know whatever it is that you sell if it's really complicated then you start to have to move toward a one to one personal interaction with them and you can't get away with this you know mass stuff so there's mass advertising that still works TV commercials still work billboards still work and maybe you know in that case promoting and publishing yourself on LinkedIn still works but when you start to get into something where you need a real important deep relationship with them and so that's really what we talk with a lot of businesses about is when it's b2b for example long selling cycle long relationship um, it's just never gonna work we had a guy sorry one of the quick anecdote I had, I had a guy call me the other day who said okay I want to do AdWords and uh, so okay what do you what do you do and so he said well we do um, air processing equipment for factories and, well that's pretty interesting and specialized what's your typical sale he said well our typical sale size is about a million dollars like wow okay great so that's a, obviously a really long selling cycle and we build relationships he goes yeah I want to buy some AdWords and uh, we need probably two leads a month and I have about a thousand dollars a month to spend on the on AdWords can you tell me what keywords are working I'm like hold on go back hmm. You said you want to spend a thousand a month and you're going to get two million dollars in sales from that. (laughs) You know, again, wake up. He just thinks that it's just magical. But obviously the sale he's making is something that it takes a long time to get to put into place relationships he has to have for years and years and years, probably before the factory is even built for whatever procurement. And so to think just you're going to buy some AdWords and it's going to happen is just ludicrous. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of the stuff that's happening. But I'm sure whoever was going to sell him those ads told him it would be great. I'm just trying to get business owners to stop falling for it and really think of their own business about whether it's the right thing.